Hi, I'm Lola Aneki and I welcome you to Speak Down on Finding Help with Special Needs. So it's still better speech and hearing month as declared by Asha. Therefore today, I'll be sharing a few tips for promoting question asking skills in children with autism, Down syndrome and learning disabilities. If you're quite observant, you realize that despite the fact that these children have words, they hardly use them to ask questions. So I've seen parents who say to me, my child has words, but he doesn't ask questions. Therefore today, I'll be sharing some tips with you on how to promote question asking skills in these children. But there are reasons, there are several reasons why these children do not ask questions. And I'll be sharing three reasons with you today on the reasons why children with Down syndrome, autism and learning disabilities do not ask questions. The first reason is that they lack how to put words together to form questions. So they have words but they lack the ability to put them together to form questions. The second reason is that they lack the thinking skills to successfully ask or request information. So they lack the thinking skills, the skills to think about how to successfully request information. And the third reason is that they lack the skill to ask questions to get information from listeners. So they lack the skill of asking questions so that they can get information from their listeners. Therefore today, the first tip I'll be sharing with us is that we should give these children interesting toys or put things that are interesting around them, colorful things, so that it will promote their ability to ask questions. Such things as um, uh, the amber light of the police, the toy police cap, or a toy that has light in the, in them, or toys that sing like Jack in the Box and how the Jack pops out, or painting activities, things that will help them to question their environment. They're questioning, even they're not saying it's out, they're thinking in their mind, how did Jack get out? How is the light spinning around? How come this color is so bright? So when you put those environment, those, um, activities and those toys around them it stimulates them to ask questions about their environment the second tip i will share with us is that we should do everyday activities with these children such as baking shopping when you do that you realize that they'll ask questions or you could even model the question to them by for example if you want to bake and you've broken your eggs in your bowl you could ask the child what are we doing and then you can say we are baking. What do you think we will pour next? And then you can say, we are pouring milk. You know, the child is listening to you and somehow because of the way the brain is formed, they tend to imitate you as time goes on. So that's another good way of ensuring that these children ask questions. Now, the next tip I'll be sharing with us is that we should always give them full attention by getting down to their levels when they ask questions. So when the child with autism or Down syndrome or learning disabilities trying to ask you a question, please give them your attention. Get down to their level and hear what they have to say to you. Now, once they realize that you have paid good attention to them and they, they are, they can, they've gotten your attention, you need to be patient when they're having difficulties putting this word together. So the next point is now that you've gotten their attention, Please be patient when they're speaking to you. Remember I said that they lack how to put words together to form questions. So while they're thinking of how to put the words together, please be patient with them and ensure that you listen to them carefully. That's where you're helping them to promote question as answering skills. The next tip I'll be sharing with us is to always answer their questions so that they feel so successful. No matter how the question is, even if a child says to you, what are you? Just answer that question. Even if they do not say it well, answer the question first so that next time they will use more words. Okay, I'll get to how you can rephrase the question to them. Encourage them by answering the question. You realize that when you answer the question, you stimulate and they feel successful. You answer the question, they feel successful in asking that question. They won't ask more questions and you also make them more curious to ask you question and that's what we're trying to achieve that these children ask questions now always praise these children when they ask questions praise them oh that was a good question i like the way you asked that question 
Wow, that was a smart question you just asked me. That, that child feels success, successful at that question. And whenever they ask you a question and they do not ask you well, you might want to rephrase the question. Remember the first time I said, let them feel successful by answering the question. Then this other one, I'm saying, praise them for asking questions, okay? That was a good question. And if you do not understand the question, the question is not framed well, you might want to say, what are you doing, okay? Who are you? Might be the way to reframe the question to the child, okay? And then if the question, if the child does not respond and does not ask you, is actually a question that you do not understand. Make sure you ask the child to repeat the question or to point at what is trying to say to you or to show you what he or she is trying to say. Now, the last um, tip I'll be sharing with you is to ask questions to get information, okay? Ask questions to genuinely get information from these children so that they can see how you're doing. So, for example, if you find your child lying down, you may want to ask, are you sleeping? And the child might answer you, yes or no. And you could say, why are you sleeping? And then you go, are you tired? Is that why you're sleeping? You see, you're asking this information to get. You're not just saying, why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? I'm sleeping because I am tired. You are getting more information from the child as to the question you're asking, saying, why are you sleeping? That way, the child sees you as a model so that it can keep asking more and more questions to get information. Remember, one of the reasons why these children do not ask questions is that they lack the thinking skills to successfully request information. Okay, so when they ask, when you ask, why are you sleeping? You can simply say, I am tired. Or you can ask, are you tired? Is that why you are sleeping? So you can see that way the child begins to somehow imitate you. So these are the seven skills, sorry, these are the seven tips I have to share with you today on how to promote question asking skills in children with Down syndrome, um, learning disability, and autism. The first tip I give is to ensure that you give the student interesting toys and um, activities that are that, that that they'll be curious about to wonder why the things in the environment behave the way they behave so if they have the light that sparkles or they have a, 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 a music box that brings out a, a, a jack in the box for example that's one way to ensure that they ask questions the second way is that you engage them in your everyday activities such as taking them for shopping and then you when you're shopping, you ask, oh, what is this? This is milk. This is cereal. Or you ask them when you're cooking, what is this and what is that? What do we do next? And then you give them full attention. The third point is that you give them full attention. Get down to their level when they ask you questions. The fourth point is that you need to be very patient when these children are asking you a question because sometimes they are finding it difficult to put those words together to ask you a question. The third point is that we should always answer the question so that they feel so successful. Even if the question does not really make sense to you, please answer the question with an, with a, with an answer that is very close to the question they are asking you to encourage them to ask you more questions. Then always praise them for asking questions. Praise them a lot. Tell them they are doing a good job asking that question. And then you should also ensure that you ask questions to get information, okay? Ensure that there's a reason you're asking that question so that they would also know. So as parents, as teachers, as inclusive educators, let's learn to use these strategies or these tips to help children with autism, Down syndrome, and learning disability to ask questions. I believe these tips have been very helpful. Do try them and Give me comments or information on how it worked. It works for you, okay? Please do not forget to look out for some of my trainings that will be coming up very soon. The info the flyers that will be split right away. Thank you so much and have a beautiful one. Bye-bye.